Hey, what's up, YouTube, and welcome to another Guild Ball match report. Today, we've got Midas versus Honor. So, Sean really practicing up on his Honor team, and I am still playing Midas and playing around with my lineup quite a bit. So, uh, this is a good game. There's a little bit of um, uh, good dialogue that happens during this game, and... Um, really interesting plays so uh so sean's coming in with honor marbles harmony mallet flint and vet chisel i'm coming in with midas nausea venom vitriol crucible and calculus so yes i'm continuing on with my no cat diet is what i'm calling it i'm i've sidelined uh catalyst and vet cat uh in order to try to understand my lineup a little bit so the masons have a 3-0 game here mainly because of the chisel move uh one they want to score the first goal two they need to win momentum super important and three take advantage of that linked activations and i'm not just talking about goals here but uh we'll see how that plays uh out as well for the Alchemists, um, we are still playing kind of a 2-2 game. It's really more of a 3-0. But one, we want to dominate our ranged character plays, blinds, um, uh, poison blast. Two, we need to protect the ball from all this amazing goal pressure. And three, keeping our snapshot turrets alive and around and keep attacking the goal is going to be very important. So really interesting matchup. Let's go ahead and speed up the footage here. So um, you can see the... Kick is going to go super shallow. Uh, Crucible kicks it off to the edge there. Now, if you're looking closely at the screen, you can see that that is uh, Sean's chisel model is actually an O chisel model. And I had planned my entire turn around thinking that is O chisel and that I could really abuse O chisel uh, by making her come after the ball. So the entire... <laughs> The entire turn, it is really isn't until like the, the the first time I throw an attack on her. Uh, well, we'll, we'll see how this plays out. So Chisel's going to sprint up, grab the ball. She is not within range to kick to anybody, so she kicks to space. Fan just misses the accuracy on the kick, but look at this kick scatter. It l literally could not have been a better kick scatter right in front of the two sisters there and well out of range of great balls of fire. Like you can't protect the ball any better than that. Venon's just going to jog up, put on his uh, Sadness Poison, and continue on. Uh, here comes Marbles. Marbles is going to go snatch up the ball, finish his uh, jog there, and then I believe he's going to make a pass. He is within Football Legend, so he's got a 5-inch pass right now. There we go. 2-5 kick on Football Legend. Pretty nice. I don't I think he passes to Harmony, but Sean doesn't move the ball. Um, anyways, I just move up the snake. Sean does, then re recognizes that he does, in fact, have the ball with Harmony. Sprints up the field, kicks the pass to Honor, I think. And no, he tried to kick to Flint, and he missed that pass. Uh, missed passes and missed goals is what make this game so long. Ball's going to scatter out wide there. And end up on the side. Still, though, very lucky with these scatters. They're they're at least out of play for me. So I can't take advantage. If I had Kami, different story, right? I didn't take Kami this game. That would have been... I, I would have gladly sprinted to try to get into position there and get that ball. Anyways, uh, Calculus is just going to go up and put up a Poison Blast. Just kind of make that area not so appealing for Flint, who we know is going to come get the ball later. Flint is... Gonna just take one activation and jog. Uh, oh, sorry, that was Mallet. Just jog up. He had nothing on him. Um, I'm gonna go into Chisel with Crucible here, and this is where we find out that uh, that's Vet Chisel, because she's in cover, and suddenly I'm rolling four dice on three two. Not so good. I'm gonna get into cover as well by luckily scoring a dodge there. Uh, and then nothing else. So Honor's going to go. She'll pick up the ball. And she is going to Superior Strat uh, Flint and quick time him up and give him the ball. Can't really ask for a better activation than that. That's, uh, you know, that's usually not what we're seeing, but that's a good setup for your, obviously, first turn goal with double activation. So he'll be able to activate out activate the kicking team such a strong feature of honor um with that uh, cheaper superior strategy and the cheaper quick time i'm trying to figure out with um 
minus how do I get the most number of people involved at the same time? It looks like I am going to sprint. Well, I'm just checking out my pathways here. Do I go after the monkey or do I go after harmony is really the question here. Um, and I spend too much time measuring this. This is the kind of stuff that's going to hurt later. But anyways, <clears throat> looks like I, um, where'd they go? And then uh, lure out vitriol so that she's ready to pull that poison off of venom. And then I go charge the monkey. So uh, going into the monkey here, this is something I'm trying to train myself on is don't be worried too much about triggering the uh, love creature, especially late in the turn. <clears throat> and then there's also, we'll get into this later, but there's also a really, really kind of nice uh, alchemist style takeout that I think not too many people are pay attention to. But anyways, uh, there's that activation. Sprint's, Flint's going to jog out wide. He jogs a little too wide, but I guess he is worried about um, Vitriol being able to cross court to him. I would have just cut that a little closer to the barrier, maybe, or around to the poison ring so that we'd be a little bit safe, but that's okay. Uh, looks like Vitriol is going to get the charge on Vet Chisel now. I was thinking O Chisel, and I'm thinking just it, had I done uh, um, the other thing, I would have had Crucible on the other side of her, and then I would have been able to just walk her off the board. But, you know, even at 3 2, still able to kind of put her where I want. And, you know, throwing some buckets of dice here because just the, the 3 2 is. Uh, really, really difficult to get through, especially when you hadn't planned on it. Okay, so we're looking at the end of the turn here, and Flint is going to go ahead and... I think that's a jog where they go to get within range. He's figuring out, okay, because he's he wants to stay out of the two-inch uh, poison aura there for... Calculus, so he's going to get in range, tap in the goal, putting the Masons up 4-0. Okay, so fantastic first turn for Sean, being thoroughly outplayed here by Sean, uh, and that set up for the first turn goal. Um, so I'm going to throw the ball out, and the ball's going to scatter nicely out wide. I was worried about that hitting that center board there. That would have been a problem. Um, but it lands in the fast ground there where Sean has really no personnel to deal with that. Um... Now, Sean and I, I think Sean actually has a slight lead on momentum, if I recall. Um, and so he, we're thinking, I'm going to play a high card. I'm not going to actually play a high card here because I don't think Sean has a great first activation, uh, no matter how he plays this. So I'm going to gamble and play a low card, actually, just to give myself lots of influence because that's really what I'm going for this turn. But yeah, what a phenomenal first turn. One of Probably one of the best first turns I've seen Sean play with uh, Honor there. Um, the chisel thing was a surprise. But, uh, you know, now that we know, we, we can adjust accordingly. And it looks like, speaking of which, Vet Chisel is going to go. And she is throwing some attacks on, uh, on Crucible there. Trying to get out of this mess. Um, and it's not working out so well. Crucible might be only 4-0, but she's in cover, and she's got a crowd out. So nothing really happens there. And then, I don't know if I agree with this. Sean decides not to move Crucible. I, I would have, I, I might have just walked out, knowing that neither, neither one of these folks has a knockdown, and tried to make a sprint, see if I could hit that fast ground and pick up the ball. Nevertheless, um, I'm going to go in, it looks like, with Calculus. Uh, I'm going to hit Honor there with a Poison Blast, and I also hit her with a Blind because Honor has a big old stack on her. So I've got to play some Containment early. So now we're... I misallocated, too. It, I probably should have just been able to pull that for free. But anyways, it looks like uh, Mallet's going to start some work on uh, Midas there. Singles him out and uh, does a little does a little bit of damage to Midas. Okay, 
Crucible, meanwhile, is going to uh, move into cover further, but I'm kind of spacing her so that I can do a push out if I need to. So uh, I think she, I don't recall if she does any more damage, but she does actually just move over there. So now Honor with the blind and the singled out canceling as, as effectively is going to go into uh, Midas here. And so he, he's doing a fair bit of damage to Midas. And this is a good pivot, right? Because the ball is nowhere near any of his players. So he, he's got a pivot to two. And he does a fair bit of damage, pulls out, and then decides not to go with the linked. The linked would have been really nice there as a takeout. Probably could have taken out uh, Midas had he linked with... Uh, with Harmony, especially if he was able to push dodge Midas into Harmony, but that wasn't, he wasn't trying to play that one at all. Uh, meanwhile, it looks like Midas is just going to slide out of combat with Honor, and then he'll go into Harmony. And then I just do the dumbest stuff here. I forgot to heal myself. That's going to be a common thing. But uh, I'm doing. I'm putting in a little bit of work, a little bit of damage on Harmony there. Harmony's going to slide out of combat. I don't know why you do that when you have influence. Like You could really put more hurt on Midas, especially since I'm forgetting to heal. Anyways. Um, oh, it looks like she, he, she got her dodge, but I was in base, I guess. And so, able to walk her into some fire. Not that it matters that much, but just trying to get better, jockeying for better position here overall. And I forgot to heal myself. That's the funny part. Um, I'm also going to lure the snake into combat. Here comes... Um, so now Harmony is going to go. And then she's going uh, she's going to dodge out of that uh, crowd out and do a little bit more damage to Midas there. So, doing some good work on Midas there. And now it looks like I am going to make a play for the ball. So, it looks like Venon is going to come around the corner here. And I'm trying to figure out... Oh, uh, that is some, some ugly widget pl placement there, buddy. Better work that out a little bit more. Um... So then I'm going to, it looks like I'm going to get within two inches of um, Chisel, pass the ball to Vitriol, dodge into Vet Chisel, and then I'm going to just lay a wallop on her. So Momentous 3 and Heroic, so 6 damage all of a sudden on V Chisel there. So she's obviously in a lot, she's in trouble, plus I've got the ball with Vitriol ready for a goal. Here comes the monkey. Monkey is going to place himself in a very annoying spot. And I'm going to go with... Uh, looks like I'm going with the snake. Just going to do a little bit more uh, damage to Harmony. Put a little poison on her. Always good. I should have gone with the snake earlier, maybe, and thrown um, Hypnosis on Honor when I had the chance to really, really reduce that activation. Flint's just going to move himself, put himself... Kind of more centrally to the play. It's kind of, this is a good idea, so that, that way he's got a snapshot turret there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take out, with Vitriol, I just go ahead and take out Vet Chisel, because she only had two left on her. Then I'm going to pull the poison for a free sprint, um, and then I do the dumb thing, uh, which is I don't bonus time my goal. You can see a big old stack of momentum there. Ugh, and I missed the goal. Yeah. Yeah, that, that happened. I deserve to lose this game, folks. Anyways, uh, the ball's going to just kind of bunk off the front of the the uh, goal there. I figured it was okay because um, I have a big stack of momentum. I can most likely go first, uh, and I can deal with that ball. But still, it's not the wisest thing. But always bonus time your goal, especially when you're playing from behind. Um, so I have a big momentum lead. It's not, actually, it's not the biggest momentum lead because Masons just pile on momentous damage all day long. But I did manage to win 
uh, initiative here um, by playing Risky Play. So he's going to give plus one tack to Mallet, I believe. So just doing some allocation, trying to figure out, okay, who is the who is best equipped to get this ball? Um, and I know that Sean is going to bring Vet Chisel in and snap up that ball. So Vet Chisel, again, 3-2 in cover. Um, not the be I we we talk later that I don't think she's the best fit for this team, but considering she's not really doing a whole lot, three two and cover with the ball, and three two and cover to draw me out to that side of the field, pretty good tactical maneuver actually. <laughs> we could accuse uh, Sean of foul play by using the O chisel and drawing me out there, but I'm just kidding. Anyway, uh, Midas is gonna go. He is going to bounce off of Harmony, trying to look for a charge lane here, and I actually don't have one without going through Honor. So I do not like that at all. I'm just going to, I'm going to end up sprinting. And you can see I'm burning a lot of clock on this side of sort of positional stuff. It's just bad. Yeah, you can see Kevin even comes in there and spots and says, no, you cannot go through. You cannot charge Vet Chisel without Going through honor. So I'm just going to sprint. So I sprint. Rely on five dice on a 3-2 with a tackle. Basically a tackle dodge on one because I pull for fulmination earlier. And get my tackle dodge. And then I go ahead. I'm not sure why. I, I guess. Oh no, Sean does not have momentum at this time because he spent a. I think he spent a counterattack earlier in the turn. And so, yeah, he's, yeah, he spent it earlier in the turn. So, um, so Midas is going to go ahead and score it and then slide off to the side there. Uh, putting the Alchemist to six against the Masons four. Ball is going to scatter. I, I really hate throwing that ball in that centrally like that. He has the better personnel a little bit towards the lower screen. But, hey, ball's scattering better for him. So what do I know? Right? And if I could scatter a ball where I want to, also good. Here comes Mallet into uh, into Midas. He's going to wisely single him out. And then he's going to uh, do a little bit more damage there. On uh, Midas, taking Midas out. Putting the Masons up to six. So six, six, six all here. The ball is still somewhat achievable there off of Harmony. And I, there's two ways I could get this ball, but I, I've, the issue is I don't have uh, the free charge and I don't have the ability to stay within the monkey. So I go ahead and go over to, Vich, over to Harmony. That's going to trigger the monkey counter charge and the monkey counter charge while it doesn't do anything positionally it puts that extra crowd out there which makes it super hard for vitriol to really do anything she misses the first attack which she needed um and she doesn't really get she ends up tackling the ball but she does not get any sort of the positional stuff. She needed a tackle and a push dodge uh, for a second goal. So not the best um, attempt at goal here. I end up having to take kind of a desperation kick over to uh, the snake. As you can see, I'm out of range of both um, Crucible and Venom. Uh, so the ball is going to... So I take a one-die desperation kick over to the snake... Snake is going to move that ball over to cover there, keep it safe there for a little bit. So the so now uh, you have to deal with the snake there, but Sean does the good patient thing here. He does the really good patient thing here. Moves up with uh, Chisel and donates her influence over to Honor. So yeah, we question the Vet Chisel move here. Um, but he's making really effective use of Vet Chisel and her abilities, even though, you know, personally, I like O Chisel, but hey, you play what you like and you're good at playing it. That's kind of the point. 
Um, meanwhile, I'm going to go over there with Venon. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of damage, and then I'm going to heroic and kill the monkey, putting the alchemist to seven to the uh, mason's six here. Okay, so you can see the setup that's about to happen there. I'm glad I was able to kill the monkey because this would have been even more devastating here. But Honor is just going to go in quick time. I, I guess she quick times into um, into vitriol there. Does a fair bit of damage. And again, this is just piling up the momentum. So the momentum race clearly going to be won here by Sean this turn. And then wisely wisely takes the push dodge to get the uh to get um harmony in there so these are the small things that maybe new players don't see that uh that you know somebody off screen like could help them with like hey just get that push dodge and then look at all the dice you're going to be throwing uh and the linked activation with harmony to finish off vitriol super strong there Still has plenty of influence left. Can go over quick time, I'm sorry, uh, acrobatics into the snake and then tackle the ball, ball. Such a nice activation here. Okay, so Harmony is able to tackle the ball. So now I'm in real trouble for missing that goal earlier because now Sean has a momentum lead. He has the ball. He has, uh, and we have another turn to go, and my clock is eating me up. I'm just going to go over here with the snake. At first, I think I, I want a parting blow. Then I decide I actually don't want a parting blow. I'm just going to go ahead and try to tackle that ball. Uh, and I do not get the ball. I think I just end up doing uh, a little bit of damage there. Flint is now going to charge into O-Calculus. Get a little push-dodge action here. There we go. He was hoping for the word they go so that he could just go in, slide, get a little momentum, and then slide back out. Meanwhile, Calculus is just going to go over to um, go over to Harmony and then pop her for a little bit of damage off of a Poison Blast. This is going to be important later. Um, and then I am like 22 seconds from clocking out, so I charge uh, V-Chisel with Crucible, do a little bit of damage there, Fire Poison, and this is all important stuff because this is chip damage at the late rounds of a turn. So even with like Crucible, if, even if I had one result, it's really only, um, it's that's four damage, if you think about it. And this is what people sometimes miss. Is if you go with late, late activations like that and you do like one damage, you're going to do four damage because of their abilities. Uh, this is a really like a, a sideways way to out for alchemists to get takeouts that said i am in huge trouble here um i've got crucible uh, you know i know that there's a goal coming it's going to be a linked activation goal i've got to have midas and vitriol there standing in front of the goal and this is going to be a full clip honor with a with harmony here and so Honor's going to start in on Calculus, and I take a counterattack. I go for the big gamble, and I need to hit two results, and I get it. That kills, and I'm able to Poison Blast and kill Harmony with the ball. That is gigantic. was just a huge play there. Huge swing. Ball's going to scatter out wide, and now Sean's got to recover. He did not see that coming. We all assumed that this was just going to work out really perfectly. Um... Maybe, it will, I give a little commentary, maybe he could have done a push dodge or something earlier with uh, bef before, but because really he just needed momentum and then have Harmony run up and score a goal. Anyways, uh, Honor is going to come all the way out to the side there, and she's going to punt the ball off field. I don't, I'm not sure what led to this line of thinking. Uh, he could have just held on while I'm clocked out and won the game, but he kicks the ball off off the screen it's going to scatter into the middle and it's going to scatter favorably to me and we'll see this in a second here so huge turn of events at the very very last seconds of this game um and 
it's it's just you know the we talk about it afterwards the conservative thing would have been just to activate three times and let me clock out because i don't have access to the ball i'm you know and just make sure that nothing else dies but there's a ball back there and this is it so now venon is going to go i also forgot to allocate but we let me allocate kind of here's how I actually would have played it understanding I'm going to lose this game. But Venon is going to go ahead. He'll run up, snap, get the ball. He's going to sprint back towards Vet Chisel, which again, who took four damage at the end of last turn, or actually five damage because it was a momentous two. Um, and he's just going to heroic kill her and then pass the ball to Crucible. And I'm just going to let this last play, the audio, kind of talk for itself. But what a swing. What a turnaround in the game. Thanks, everyone, for watching. And, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. I thought, I honestly thought you were going to push dodge her out. Mm. Because I'm like, okay, if I hit this counterattack, I just kill Harmony. Mm-hmm. get to there mm -hmm. okay all right so <coughs> i just acrobatics yeah. and sprint and kick yep go there and kick a three die and hope that crucible can do something valuable and if i miss i lose because i clocked that okay you got it <laughs> Your game. Your game. wow i mean by all accounts i should have lost that game yeah should have lost that game <laughs>